Hi everybody, I'm Tony Caridi and we welcome you into what we normally call Football Friday, but obviously it's going to be Football Thursday for the Mountaineers. Halloween night here in Texas as West Virginia takes on the Baylor Bears. Thanks for being with us, Tony Caridi, along with Coach Dwight Wallace. So West Virginia has had a bye week after the Oklahoma game. Neil Brown, coach, has been saying hit the reset button. We've got five games left. Seems as though this team, despite the fact that October has been an absolute bear, has a pretty good mental approach, and they seem to be flying around here pretty good. Well, there's there's the, the good news and the bad news, Tony. You know, when you've got these young teams, uh, boy, so disappointing in many ways. But you know what? Hitting that reset button's a lot easier with those young guys, too, because they're all wanting to get better. They know they're making mistakes. They're taking all the coaching they can get. You tell them to work harder, they work harder. Tell them to run faster, they run faster. And they try to give you what you want. And I think that's always encouraging to a coaching staff, knowing you got kids out there busting it and trying to get it done. So uh, like him, I think it's going to be exciting to see what we can do. If we can look at this last five games of the whole new season and tell those guys, look, you're not first time starters anymore. You've got some experience. Let's go out and show people where you are. Yeah, on the good news side of things, Neil Brown tells us that Austin Kendall had his best week of practice all season this week, and the receivers as well have practiced extremely well. So it seems as though their position, now the question is, can they make plays against a very good Baylor defense? Yeah, I think part of your mature, maturing, if that's the right word to say, as a football player, especially in the big 12 conference if you're a receiver you're going to get knocked around and running routes and practice is one thing running them on saturday or in this case thursday is something else those guys on the other side don't let you get to your depth they don't let you have free releases and so i think it takes this amount of time for those guys to understand what's it really about to play in the big 12 conference and that's why i think you might see austin Kendall doing a better job because the receivers are running routes where they're supposed to run them and all of a sudden I think there's a better communication there. All right, communication also is essential on special teams. This Baylor team has had eight blocks in its last 12 games. West Virginia cannot afford whatsoever to get one blocked or to lose in special teams. They've got to win that category. Absolutely. And, you know, we're ranked pretty high on a couple of those, too, on punt return, kick return, some of those things. We just need to do a little bit better job with our return guys. I think uh, they should have good confidence. We're getting people blocked. We're close. I wouldn't be surprised if we couldn't get one of those loose. But before we do that, if we're going to win it, like you say, we got to make sure we protect. Can't allow any blocks. All right, we'll find out what happens. Our pregame coverage on MSN Radio begins at 4.30, and the kickoff is set for 8 o'clock. Thanks for being with us. Along with Coach Dwight Wallace, I'm Tony Caridi. Football Friday presented by the West Virginia Lottery.